So happy to be in Toronto to report live on this game for you between PWHL Toronto and Boston. The experience itself at a PWHL game was fantastic. I was so happy to be there in person and see the players live, see the action, and get to appreciate it close up. The atmosphere was, I'll say it, electric. The fans in Toronto are just going crazy for this team and for this league. So here's a look at the goalies, Aaron Frankel and Kristen Campbell, who's red hot herself. These teams both need points in the standings to stay in this playoff race. And the puck gets dropped. And I couldn't believe that the views are just incredible from everywhere in this arena. Well, not this close maybe, but I did get this close. Front row. You couldn't get any closer. If you wanted a view of Natalie Spooner, there she is. And in the first period, it's that top line with Sarah Nurse taking it in. Gets a good shot off. And right there to get the rebound for her first goal is Ali Monroe. You know we always celebrate when it's their first goal. And there's the live on the bench interview with Reagan Subban by the PWHL. Toronto looks like such a confident team right now. And of course it's Natalie Spooner leading the way. She gets a turnover at the blue line and takes it in herself. Doesn't hesitate. Makes an incredible forehand backhand move shelves it over Franco and the crowd goes crazy. It really looks like other teams are almost afraid of this dominant team, especially Spooner. And here's what she had to say about it. I don't know. I feel like I'm playing the same way I try to play all the time, but um, yeah, just trying to, to play the right way and um, use my body, get pucks to the net, use my speed. Um, yeah, and then and this game was physical. Sarah Nurse took some punishment. This was more accidental, but it looked like it might have hurt her. Boston definitely looked frustrated to me, and there were a lot of scrums after the whistle. This game started to get nasty, and these two teams don't like each other. Late in the second, Renata Fast is in deep, and she gives it to Maggie Connors, who walks the line and fires a sneaky shot that beats Frankel. It looked like it might have been tipped on the way in. They definitely took a look at it, but the goal was awarded to Connors for her third of the season. I wanted to slow this clip down so you could see the inspired defense by the pair of Fast and LaRock, who I think are a huge, huge reason for the turnaround for Toronto. So in the third period, Boston pulled Frankel and replaced her with Emma Soderberg. And they did start to play better and press, and the physical play got even more intense. And again, it's Nurse taking the punishment, first from Megan Keller and then from Emily Brown. Take a look again at the defense of Jocelyn the Rock as she picks off a pass. She's helped out by Maggie Connors, who gives an outlet pass to Renata Fast, who's ready to drive the puck in deep, as always. Smart play when you're defending the lead. But Boston won't be denied. They keep the puck in the zone, and on a delayed penalty, it's Jess Healy with just a seeing-eye shot. And there it is, her first PWHL goal, and it's 3-1. to one. So Boston does pull their goalie with three minutes left and get some strong pressure, but it's Kristen Campbell keeping it clean. Then late with the empty net, Natalie Spooner goes for it, and it's Healy who takes her down, and Rattray gives her the extra shove. There are definitely some penalties on this play. Spooner is just punished as she goes for the empty net, and here's what she had to say about it. I think, you know, we saw them in the third period really start to use their body and um, try to be a bit more aggressive, and we had to match that, and uh, obviously they got some penalties. Um, that were probably out of frustration too. Tempers continue to flare and it's Megan Keller who's having words with Sarah Nurse after taking her down. She's headed to the box. I think the shove is okay, but when she throws her down to the ice and gives her the extra push, that's gonna be a penalty. <laughs> Nurse says, I'm not involved in this, see you later. 
Healy's involved too with Miller. Miller gets a hit on her late and is called for that one. We're going to ask the coach later what they thought of all this physical play. But meanwhile, Toronto wins this one 3-1. to one, And they have an eight-game winning streak. After the game, Coach Courtney Kessel had this to say about the physicality. I, I really think there's been a, a balance that's been figured out. Like I thought at the beginning it was a little crazy. And then I feel like we've all settled in, like the refs have settled in. It seems pretty consistent. And then from Boston, Susanna Tappany. I think it just uh, shows most and everyone wants to win. And um, just part of the game, it's been like very physical all, all, all the season. And it's just part of it. The game tonight was especially chippy. And I think our next game against Boston will be really chippy too. So I think that could be a bit of a rivalry that started uh, tonight there. I think uh, the mentality that we have, I think we approach every game as if we're playing our biggest rivals. And I think that's just kind of the mindset that our team's adapted a little bit. But um, I think this game against Montreal on Friday is a huge one because um, I think we're up 2-0 against them. So I think we know that they're going to come at us hard and uh, they're not going to want to lose three in a row to us. So I think uh, we know exactly what to expect and I think we're going to bring it. Yeah, I mean, I think rivalries are kind of brewing everywhere around this league because every game is really so important um, now. But yeah, I mean, you can tell they weren't happy at the end of that period. So I'm sure next time we play them, it could be spicy right off the hop. Then I got to ask Spooner this. this. Is like a long season, uh, like a continuous season, unlike things that you guys have been used to playing before. Um, how are you adjusting to that with, you know, maybe a third of the season left? Yeah. Physically, mentally, how's it feeling? I think there's just so much excitement around it. And, um, you know, it's something that we've wanted for so long was that like regular season, those games and every game matters. Um, so I think really excitement, obviously, yeah, the season we're getting through it now. Um, but at the same time, I think this is what we wanted and we're excited for every game.